Hi everybody. Okay. So today the topic that we are covering is stranger danger. So I know a lot of people, this is really intimidating for them. And believe me, it was for me too in the beginning. I, I still get nervous that pit in my stomach when I bring up plexus to people, but you know what? The more you do it, the more easier it becomes. Okay. So we need to master the art of talking to strangers. Um, you don't have to be an extrovert to do this business. You don't have to be an extrovert extrovert to learn how to talk to strangers when you're out and about. Um, introverts do this business too. Jessica Hefley, she was at convention and she's a diamond ambassador. She's a huge introvert, but she has grown a very successful business. And some of her videos are so great to listen to. So she's somebody that if you are an introvert, I would suggest looking her up and just on Facebook and listening to some of her videos because she's great. She's so fun. Um, the thing we're going to work on today is coming up with your what is plexus answer. So um, we want strangers to ask us this question. When we're out and about, like we want to lead the conversation into what is plexus? I don't even know what, I've never even heard of that. Um, a lot of people are quick to say, well, it's a health and wellness company. Our products are all natural, things like that. Um, what happens is, and then I always would lead with, it's the, it, our company addresses the three root issues of, of a lot of the problems, um, gut health, inflammation, and blood sugar. And people probably looked at me like I was the teacher on Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 wah. And didn't hear another word that came out of my mouth. They were probably really kind and, you know, kept on with the conversation, but I've learned a better way to share. And that is to make your story personal and because stories sell. And the more personal you can make it, the better it's going to be and the more engagement you're going to get with that other person. So here's, here's what I say. If somebody, when Plexus comes up in the conversation, I say, Oh my gosh, you haven't heard of Plexus. Oh, it has really changed my life since I was diagnosed with breast cancer here a year and a half ago. You know, my world just kind of got turned upside down and I was really struggling with energy and um, I wasn't sleeping well at night. I had gained a lot of weight. Um, Plexus has helped me lose almost 30 pounds and I have so much energy. I sleep better at night. I don't ever crash in the afternoon anymore. Um, I have kicked my sugar cravings. Um, and my husband's even been on it and he's lost 20 pounds and he's kicked his, his soda addiction and he's been able to get his infl chronic inflammation under control. Um, it's just really been life changing for our family. And then I say, Hey, I have a sample. Would you like to try the slim? And I show them how easy it is to use the slim every day. You mix it in your water in the morning at lunch, whenever works best for you. It's really good. It tastes good. Try it. So keep your story simple, clean, and six and concise and bring excitement and energy to your story. Um, so the task for today is I want you guys to find one to three strangers today while you're out and about. Um, put on your Plexus shirt, take your Plexus cup, whatever, and go out to Target, go to the grocery store, go to your kids' sporting events, the swimming pool, whatever you're doing today, and try to bring up Plexus with one to three people that you see out and about in your day. It's gonna get easier the more you do it and the more you talk about it. So here's a couple ways that you can look for openings to bring it up to people. Say you're out um, at a sporting event and you see one of your friends yawn, oh, I'm so tired, I just am not sleeping very well at night. Guess what? Jump over there and say, I've got something for that. And um, another way to bring up something is if you're in, this, in the line at the grocery store and you see this somebody you connect with, like, and you bring up this conversation and you start talking, um, you know, ask them what they do for a living. Do you stay at home with your kids? Um, do you work somewhere here in Salina or wherever you're at for the day? Um, and they will usually ask you in return what you do. And it's a perfect opportunity to say, Hey, I, I'm sharing Plexus. Um, and everywhere you're at during, during, Everywhere you go, people are always saying, oh my gosh, I'm so tired today. Like how many times a day do you hear that or see that in people? They look so exhausted. So it's a perfect opportunity to bring it up. People need these products. And the more you believe in the company and the products and know that they're working for people, the easier it is to bring it up because you know it will help them. So 
Um, don't make it too serious. Just look for look for openings in your daily conversation and lead them into a conversation about plexus. It doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to be difficult. Like say as much as you're comfortable saying. Um, make sure you give them your information and a, or a business card or a sample card or a sample of Slim. Um, you know, that has your information on it. I know a lot of you guys probably don't have business cards yet. So, you know, if you're really excited about this business, I would say that's the number one investment is to just get some business cards because you want to get your information into other people's hands. And finally, the thing you want to make sure you do is remember their name and get their name, first and last name, and where they're from maybe. Um, so you can find them on Facebook or just flat out ask them if they are on Facebook and look them up real quick and add them as a friend because they'll see your posts and maybe that will cause more interest in the products too if they're not interested right away. Um, someday your warm market is going to dry up and by warm market I mean your close friends and contacts like people you're already friends with on Facebook, um, people that you know from you know your community. And so we always need to be continually adding people on Facebook. Um, so just like these people that you're randomly meeting, you want to get them added. Um, you never know who's going to join your team. It's been so surprising some of the people who have joined our Plexus team and who have been rock stars were people that we didn't even know prior to Plexus besides maybe an online affiliation somehow. Um, so I want you to go out and look for five people that you can add to your Facebook friends list today. So go and go to some of your mutual friends and uh, that you're friends with on Facebook and go to their friends list and see if there is anybody that you knew from college or high school or a mom from school of somebody else's kids that you've seen out and about. Um, just try to add some more people to your Facebook list. Um, we always want to be adding people because you never know who Plexus is going to touch. And you can send them a quick message too. Say, hey, I haven't seen you forever. I just saw you're on Facebook. It's so good to look through your pictures and see your family and your kids. And oh my goodness, I'm so glad we're able to reconnect um, this way. Or if you just saw them a couple weeks ago, say, hey, it's so good to see you a couple weeks ago. I just saw you're on Facebook. You know, just send them a quick message. You don't have to bring up Plexus. Just send a quick message, reconnect with them so they have a reconnection with you. Um, so those are your two challenges today. So I want you to try to talk to one to three people while you're out and about, and I want you to add five people to your Facebook friends list. So that's not too hard, right? Okay, if you have questions, let us know. Have a great day.